Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Isaiah chapter 37, beginning at verse 21 and ending at verse 35. This is the New King James Version. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Because you have prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, has despised you, laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head behind your back. Whom have you reproached and blasphemed? Against whom have you raised your voice and lifted up your eyes on high? Against the Holy One of Israel. By your servants you have reproached the Lord and said, By the multitude of my chariots I have come up to the height of the mountains, to the limits of Lebanon. I will cut down its tall cedars and its choice cypress trees. I will enter its farthest height, to its fruitful forest. I have dug and drunk water, and with the soles of my feet I have dried up all the brooks of defense. Did you not hear long ago how I made it from ancient times that I formed it? Now I have brought it to pass that you should be for crushing fortified cities into heaps of ruins. Therefore, their inhabitants had little power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and the green herb, as the grass on the housetops, and grain blighted before it is grown. But I know your dwelling place. You're going out and you're coming in, and your rage against me, because your rage against me and your tumult have come up to my ears. Therefore, I will put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your lips. And I will turn you back by the way which you came. This shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this year such as grows of itself. And the second year what springs from the same. Also in the third year sow and reap. Plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. And the remnant who have escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go a remnant. And those who escape from Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor build a siege mound against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and he shall not come into this city, says the Lord, for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.